Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the technical session of National Conference on Jute Geotextile, a sustainable solution in civil engineering applications, including rural infrastructure development. Before beginning the session, I would like to request all the speakers to stick to the timeline. And uh, now for this session, we are glad to have Sri Mahesh Hiremat as the chair who is ex-chief uh, ex operating officer of Karnataka Rural Road Development Agency, that is KRRDA, and ex-director of National Rural Infrastructure Development Agency, that is NRIDA, uh, with us. We take this opportunity to uh, with, uh, request him to be, uh, chair this session. Uh, Shri Mahesh Hiramat is a civil engineer and has been uh, and had been working with government of Karnataka in public works department, rural development department, major irrigation department, urban development department. He has served depart uh, various departments for 37 long years in different roles. He has undertaken different road construction projects wherein innovative methods like geo geotechnology, use of coir, lime, fly, ash, etc. was considered. So we welcome you, sir, for, the, uh, for chairing the session. Along with Hiramit, sir, we have, we request Sri P. K. Chaudhary, ex-technical advisor of National Jude Board, to co-chair this, uh, this technical session. During his 46 years of service in Jute industry, IJ, IJIRA and NJB, Sri P. K. Chaudhary developed uh, varieties of Jude products, including geotextiles and uh, geotextiles and agrotextiles, which were standardized by BIS. He has over 150 publications and five patents to his credits. He has delivered more than 2,000 lectures on J, uh, JGT in India and abroad, including special lectures. He has been honored with Dr. Triguna Sen Award in 2007 and has also uh, felicitated as eminent engineering personality in 2015. Um, this was for his outstanding contribution in the field of geotextile engineering by the Institute of Engineers, India. We welcome you, sir. And let us move to the uh, speaker, first speaker of the technical session two. Dr. S. Manivanan, Principal Scientist, Land and Water Management Engineering, ICAR, that is Indian Council for Agricultural Research, his topic of presentation is application of jute textile in erosion control and slope stabilization. Dr. S. Manivanan pres uh, presently, uh, is presently working as principal scientist, land and water management engineering at IARI Assam. He has over 25 years of experience in research and development activities in the field of soil and water conservation engineering. His expertise and advice has helped many farmers in coastal area for which he has award, uh, he was awarded Vasantrao Naik Award. He also has received Distinguished Service Certificate Awards by Indian Society of Agriculture Engineers, SCSI, <coughs> SCSI uh, Leadership Award in 2017 and National Fellow of SCSI in 2018 for his dedicated efforts in the field of soil and water conservation. Presently, he is the President of Agri Agricultural Research Service Scientist Forum, that is ARSSF. Over to you, sir. Very good afternoon to all of you. And I think it's very difficult. <coughs> you all enjoy, we all enjoyed the excellent lunch. And you are in the mood of taking rest. I will try to wake up now. Fly <laughs> level must smile best. So I it was I would like to brief about my organization, as he told already. Um, it's Indian Council of Agriculture Research. And I, earlier I was served in the Coastal Research Institute in Goa, then Indian Institute of Soil and Water Conservation. Presently I am working in Indian Agriculture Research Institute. This is all functioning under the same Indian Council of Agriculture Research. So here my area of the test I would like to brief. In my specialized area that where um, hydrological behavior, particularly the runoff and soil, as how it has been affected by the geotextiles and uh, compared to the synthetic geotextiles and how it made uh, effective in slope stabilization. This is what today we are going to just, uh, I will share with you in next uh, 15 minutes. 
so naturally you may see it that slope stabilization where it has happening it normally in the highway side where the deep cutting is been done for making the roads railway tracks and open mine areas like iron ore mines that if you excavate the iron oring that there will be the part of the ores will have the less percentage of the iron ore content or any other material so those materials has been dumped in the open space which creates the um, artificial mounds in certain states you can see that in goa itself i could able to experience that was dumped in the 5000 hectare areas so those mine dumps will be the deep soil which is that below the surface and <clears throat> we will find that the materials required for that's a nutrients required by the plant plants will not be available in that soils so when you excavate and dump in elsewhere there won't be any vegetation growth despite during the high intensity rainfall there will be the erosion sorts and the grills will formed rills will formed and that uh, again the structures above that whatever it is there again road or any other buildings that will be coming down so these are the uh, problem which we face in the civil engineering and alternative that what they have to do anywhere if the road or railway track comes down that immediate remedies is what he will do all the engineers he will just either fill the sand back and dump there down side <laughs> and followed by the uh, estimate prepared for that construction of the um, retaining walls that is what normally the all department engineers used to do but the length of the road the length of the railway track the area which is covered by the the sign or or any open mine areas if see that it is very huge and if you we will think of that only think of that estimate of the structures that is never we are not going to make that entire area as a sustainable development that's why this geotextiles is the alternative wherever possible so this i i won't say that this is alternative for the slope stabilization which can be done by the all the civil structures absolutely no there are the places where we cannot go through the these kind of um, geotextile applications where we cannot establish completely vegetation at all here wherever possible we would like to do the slope stabilization uh, using the vegetations okay then you may ask that one what way this will help you see the loose soils which our soil is dumped in the highway morning uh, mr chaudhary has shown so many um pictures and made all of you tired so those those pictures all you might have seen in the highway we are dumping the soils lot of that increasing the height to reach the flyovers or in the assam place like where i am living um it is naturally the road should be higher than the flying because it's all flood prone areas naturally 2 3 meter water will be there all the times so we have to make the raise the point so such places the side slopes has to be stabilized that is what main thing in that side slope when there is no soil micropies not there then no plant establishment will be there that is what main thing that jute geotextiles will help you only for 3 months not more than that when the root established due to the soil binding character of the root stones the soil will be getting binded and the automatically the pores will be created the where the water will be percolated through the pores and release it so that no hydrostatic pressure will be there these all cracks are downstream of subsidence it happens due to the hydrostatic pressure only here we are releasing that with this background just i will very quickly go through the few studies which we con conducted at indian institute of soil and water conservation the first one is that to find out that which open view jute geotextile is more suitable for slope stabilization for easy establishment fast growth of the we have used the test crop as a tea plant because this was conducted in the uti which is located in tamil nadu so naturally the area is the high elevation area that we have selected the local and also other things are there the tea plantations are very frequently affected with the landslides so to to rehabilitate it will take years together 10 15 years but by using this 
uh, ge geotextiles, we could be able to establish within 2 3 years also. So, 500, 600, 700 GSM uh, jute geotextiles has been used for evaluating the runoff and soil loss. Means, how much water is being absorbed or how much is retained by the jute for which was useful for the plant, how it has helped to the establishment of the plant growth very quickly. Yeah, you might be seeing that this is the slope, already unstable slope, we can say either road or open dump, whatever it is. So, our aim is uh, to control the uh, erosion in this slope and also to reduce the movement of the silt to the downside areas. See, here already we showed that the soil will not be useful for the plant growth. Nearby some agricultural field will be there. This eroded silt will go and accumulate it will make unpotential for that land also. So, it is very much essential wherever the subsoil is been dumped, either by the highway or mine, wherever subsoil has been dumped, we have to essentially protect with the growth of vegetation. Yeah, this is the method how we are laying out the jute already been told by uh, Mr. Chowdhury and we have taken different jute chair textiles like a 500, 600 and one plot has been kept as a control without anything also for the comparative purpose to understand the dynamics of movement of the soil. And this is the setup for how we have measured the excess water flow that is a runoff and soil loss, how much is been. Three years this study was conducted and the, this is the result very quickly I am sharing it. Reduction in the runoff I have converted, uh, to compared to this you can say that one by mean data if you take uh, 161.1 uh, for this overall and in the control compared to 500, 600, 700. Here which one is reduced the high runoff is 700 GSM. The reason behind is 700 GSM compared to 600 and 500 the thickness of the web will be little higher. And the 500 GSM, the web thickness will be a little less and that was all designed by the our national jute board and with the, our uh, partners from the industry. Uh, we could be able to see that, um, you see, the plant should not have excess moisture also. It is like that. T if it has excess, excess moisture, that it is a problem. That will be the, either it will be uh, slided along with the root or the tea growth will not be there. So, we have to design this exactly that how much water to be retained for that one which is needed for the only for the plant establishment. That way we found that uh, this uh, 500 GMM is uh, GSM jute is uh, optimum moisture and also um, in all the cases percentage of runoff also it is having the lesser than the 700 uh, GSM means um, 700 GSM will reduce the larger quantity of runoff but the plant growth will be affected. But whereas 500 GSM is optimum reduction and the plant growth also not been affected. Yeah, this is the various uh, soil loss, how much the loss, you could be able to see it. This is all four treatments. Of course, this uh, uh, green one is a control and the red, blue one is a 700 and 600 and 500. Yeah, the nutrient loss. This is more important for plant growth. Why the slope uh, we are not able to grow the um, grass or vegetation? Because available nutrients are not available for the plant establishment. And soil microbes which needs to be filtered, it is not building up because it is washed away. These two things have been maintained by the, this, the jute jet actually helps us to increase the soil microbes availability to the plants and control the nutrient movements in addition to the whatever the nutrients which is added from the jute geotextiles. That is what we can see overall very simply I can say 58.85 percentage of nutrients are been saved by uh, 500 GS and this is all N, P, K, organic carbon. We have taken up only major nutrients which is required for the grass growth. Then 700 GS, it is 63.0 percent nutrients is been saved. And uh, our soil moisture retention, you can see the both the rainy season and dry season. In the dry season means it is April, March, April and we could be able to see 15 centimeter, 16 percentage of the moisture availability. 
and in the control it is only 9 percentage of water so these jutes helps in the post monsoon period if the december the rain is the runoff is cheesed or rain is stopped up to the march the soil is having the moisture so which can be um, helpful for the growth of the, these growth and vegetations and this is the composition how the sand and silt clay ratio is been increased before and after uh, because it's a short term study so the variation is very less but if you see in the 10 years 15 years there was the very huge uh, quantity of increase in the uh, composition of sand silt and clay um, due to the reduced soil losses and reduced nutrient losses this is a nutrient status how the before after it is being increased for example you can say that um, nitrogen 135 to 145 it is increase was found in so like that similarly um, all the cases there is an increase no no reduction was found in that and this is a growth also we statistically analyzed and found that uh, the the growth difference is significantly differed so mostly if you see that higher areas 700 gsm if you can take um, where the runoff is less soil loss is less but the plant growth is affected plant growth is higher in 500 gsm so it's not only one factor the multiple factor has been taken into consider and recommend the jute geotextile this is the picture which we can see it in the just uh, initial period all four and uh, where we did not apply for any jute geotextile and uh, at nearby plant even weeds also will grow here weeds also not growing it that is the main problem why that in the slope we are unable to establish the plant growth where the jute geotextile is helps is more so another study that okay that was there this is established for only for the roadside uh, roadside and the railway track side particularly the mines there and all we may not be required the cultivated crops so we have identified the some of the grasses one of the test crop locally suitable of course we have standardized each area wise also crop where lemon grass some pear vetiver this is for high hill regions that uh, rusty carvella weeping low grass where the high altitude and low temperature and high rainfall regions in these regions this study was conducted so here we have compared the same gsm uh, non woven open view and synthetic so which one is better performing better whether synthetic or non woven or open view so here our study is conducted in two slope group one is 60% another one is 90% we have taken the maximum slope percentage um, which one the crop will be surviving and the vertical slope we have taken out but we are not recommending so this is the initial stage how we are laying out in the roadside and planting the vegetables the same setup of that runoff and soil loss measurement we do it here also and uh, you can see that uh, all three years study it was conducted 13 to 14 and 15 and uh, this is the control and uh, this is the 500 open view you can see that synthetic geotextiles it has been produced the higher runoff that means the water absorption capacity is very less that's why the higher runoff has been observed there whereas followed by non woven 100 then open view the reason between that open view and non woven open view we have the space so it absorb both sunlight as well as water so both it is benefiting to the plants as well as the soil whereas synthetic both will not be available either um, sunlight also will not be available moisture also will not be available here also compared to synthetic non woven uh, uh, geotextile will have the higher water absorption capacity so that is the reason that we have the uh, runoff is um, very uh, efficiently followed in the open view geotextiles yeah this is the runoff in all the slopes like uh, um, where 500 synthetic it's in 90% uh, slope uh, same ratio but when slope is increasing percentage of runoff will be reduced that is a slow factor but we have to see that same uh, slope comparatively open view 
uh, Jude Geo Textiles perform better. Yeah, it is a, again our soil loss. This is 90% slope. Uh, nutrient loss also. How much it is been compared to? This is a synthetic. Here we are finding that 43.7%. Here the nutrient will not move. At the same time, additional nutrients will not be generated every year. Here nutrients also will not move and also added up. Nutrients will be added every year. That is the reason that open view is comparatively better than all other. This is same trend is followed in 90% slope. Yeah, this is soil moisture availability for the root zones, various steps, uh, 15 centimeter, 30 centimeter, 30 to 45 centimeter. Here, where the main purpose is to absorb more water in the slope and retain it and make soil moisture availability during the post monsoon period. So that purpose is solved here. Uh, we can find it all the depth uh, comparatively that green one. 500, this green one is a 500 GSM open view is having the higher moisture content. 90% also same trend has been followed. Yeah, this is the height of the grasses. How much growth is there over the period? It was measured up to two year period. The blue line is 500 GSM. The, there was the growth down in between the period around 120 days and overall if you can see it, uh, Compared to the green line control, then blue line, this, yeah, green and orange. These are the uh, non-woven and this is the non-woven uh, synthetic. Open view is this blue one. So the here and here it is averagely it is higher duration. And here it is picture is clearly shown in 90% very clear. There at the previous trial it was having up and down. But here you can see that very clear height increment. Uh, growth rate, you can find it. Uh, very higher growth rate also been in the same trend only. The green one is a control, then last one is 500 GSM. Yeah, this is a different slope. And uh, per clamps, trillers, number of grasses, all. So many growth parameters has been monitored. Uh, biomass also and folio lateral spread, surface area. This is more important. When the runoff, uh, when the rain drop intensities uh, will come and uh, first uh, you may be knowing that splash erosion. Uh, the flash erosion will not be there after geotextile is been decomposed. If the three months, jute geotextile will be decomposed. At the same time, the foliage has to spread and cover the areas. There should not be earth directly to be seen by the runoff, the rainfall. If it is happened, again the erosion will be happening in that aspect also. And uh, we found that surface area coverage is protected by the cross is <coughs> very high in the open view geotextile. That is after two year 15829 and uh, all biomass also comparatively open view geotextiles has the higher one. 11.2. Uh, this is under the same root growth mass. So we, we see that which one is having the more powerful binding character, roots. Whichever grass have the good binding character, only those roots will be controlling, stabilizing the soil. Maybe the growth may be higher in the above growth, but below growth is not there, it will be slighted. But we should monitor it, the below growth level should be better. In that aspect also, the root mass density, root weight, root volume, root lateral spread, not horizontal spread. You may see, lateral spread is more important. It has to spread like that way. Then only the soil binding character will be increased. In that aspect also, we found that this is having the higher. Because when the soil erosion control, it's mostly lies on the both. Maximum 75% is the root character and 25% is the surface characters. So this is a 90% slope and this is the photographs how uh, initially it was planted over the period of time, various treatments. Um, one thing we observed in the synthetic geotextiles, um, the growth of the vegetation is found to be, of course, Already Madam Madhavi and all others were told the synthetics are very efficiently used in the 
civil structures, road concrete for subsidence and all. There is no doubt and I agree fully. But when it comes to the vegetation growth, the synthetic is not much helpful. Where our uh, natural geotextiles plays the major role in the surface coverage of the vegetation coverage. Yeah, you can see it here. You cannot imagine in it that within the six months, this area it has come. So we are also applied in the various places, including one of the roadside, um, various locations, five locations in the T, open estate, uh, rural roadside and all. Just you can see the various applications. You see, this is the one of the area, 2009, mass landslide. The completely T was there, uprooted by the distance of more than 175 meters. It is landslided and nothing was grown up to 2012 in that. Every year it was eroding because uh, top soil is moved away. Almost 2 meter soil has been taken away then. Below 2 meter soil, nothing will be there to grow. So uh, we applied the jute. Uh, first, uh, weeds has grown. In that, weeds has grown. After one year, uh, that organic carbon content has been increased. Then, tea was planted. Then, it was rehabilitated with the fully with the tea and the people given that uh, of course we conducted uh, so many awareness program in the Uti uh, with the help of NJP, NJP National Jute Board and uh, the publicity was there. Many people uh, tried to adopt it also, they enquired it. One problem I should not tell that uh, where that was stuck up in Tamil Nadu, the administrators, they told we should not pay this huge amount of GST to other state. So, you procure local materials where it was struck up it, even though we demonstrated in many places. These are the things, we should think of government also such kind of environmental friendly materials, which is ecologically sustainable materials. The wave off of GST may be thought of the government. That should be the uh, more easy to spread across the country which is more useful also. And uh, I can say, conclude that, there is no doubt about it, uh, for erosion control and slope stabilization, we can go for open view jute geotextiles. Definitely, natural geotextiles outperformed synthetic geotextiles. So, for erosion control, particularly for the vegetation establishment, we must go for natural geotextiles. And open view jute geotextile is performing better than um, compared to other geotextiles. We recommended 700 GSM for the grass establishment. Since the manufacturers not matching with the machinery or production, it was accepted 7 to 730. Yeah, 730 is available. So, nearest one. So, that can be used for the slope stabilization and the erosion control with the grass. If for commercial crops like a tea, coffee, you would like to plant in the slope, you can go for the 500 or nearest to the 528, I think so, you can say, huh? nearest which is available, 528, I think, huh? 500, yeah, 500 GSM, that has been recommended. That's all about uh, my presentation and uh, you can ask me, <laughs> same thing I am highlighting uh, about how the runoff is being reduced, how the soil loss is being reduced compared to that surface above growth parameters, below growth parameters and soil binding character, root density. Compared to this all, we came to this conclusion and thanks to the National Jute Board for giving the financial assistance for conducting these studies and also providing the financial assistance to conduct the two, three, I think three occasions or two occasions. The big workshop, three occasions. We have conducted the good workshop, of course, our good commissioner, all office bearers were visited. Uh, Thank you, one and all, and any doubts are there, I will be able to clarify it. I think I am well within the time. Yes? Okay. It's very difficult to hear uh, after the lunch. And it was uh, so many vessels were kept, I have seen it. Uh, <laughs> after taking, tasting all the vessels, uh, very difficult. At least one hour you cannot come out. But uh, I tried my level best. Any discussion, please? I will be happy to answer your queries.
So it, I can say that if no questions are there, everybody slept like that. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Okay, I can leave. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your uh, rich and diverse experience, sharing rich and diverse experience with your textile with us. And I request uh, Sri Mahesh Ramad to uh, present the memento to us. Thank you to all of you and uh, thanks for thanks for organizers Indian Institute of Science and uh, NIT Surat Kal National Jute Board Kolkata for inviting me and giving me the opportunities to present this paper. Thank you one and all.